hello guys welcome to my channel so i got one comment on my previous video that can we have a simple project with postgresql and gsp so in this video we are going to work on that very same project but what we are going to do is we are going to create a crud application from scratch using spring boot postgresql and gsp so if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do now let's work on that project so first thing first is we need IDE. So I'm going to work with IntelliJ here. So let's create a new project. Let's give it a name crud with Postgres and JSP. It is going to be with Maven and Java 17 by default. So now let's create. All right, so first thing first is that we need to add dependencies. So very first dependency is going to be our Spring Boot starter web. So Spring Boot starter web. And then we also need dev tools. All right, so we are good with dev tools. Now we need something to connect with our database, which is going to be of Postgres. So we are going to go with JDBC. So Spring Boot starter JDBC. And we need to add a parent dependency for all these Spring Boot dependencies. So something like this, we are going with 2.5.1 version here. All right. So now what else do we need? So we need a uh, JSP also here. And then we also need PostgreSQL driver to connect with our database. So let's first add the driver dependency. All right. So PostgreSQL is done. Now we need GSP dependency. So for GSP, what do we need is we need Tomcat embed Jasper dependency and then we need JSTL dependency. So JSTL, if you don't know about it, is Java servlet tag language. So it is required whenever we are using GSP, right? So let's add those quickly. So now we are done with GSP. So along with GSP, we are also going to use Bootstrap, which is a front-end framework to beautify your front-end so that is that then to make your bootstrap framework work efficiently we also need jquery so let's add those dependencies as well all right so we are good with all the dependencies now let's add the build here all right now we just have to sync our project also instead of jdvc let's go with jpa all right, so now we are done with our syncing Maven dependencies. So what we have to do is we have to make some changes to our project folders. So in our main folder, we need a particular path which is going to be of your GSP. So for GSP, we need to have this path or folders of folders. So what do we need is we need web app, then we need web INF. And this is coming on since we had our Spring Framework projects. So it's ongoing, but JSP is not that popular these days. We are already moved ahead. So, so yeah, that's why it's not updated that much. So let's do JSP here. So this is the directory uh, JSP where we are going to create our front end pages. Now, we need our application or properties, which is not here. So let's create that. So here we have to do few changes. First thing is going to be if, if you don't want your project to be run on the default port, that is 8080, then you can change that port. Otherwise you can skip this line. Then for your JSP, we need to do a few property changes, which is going to be spring.mvc.view.prefix. The second change is going to be suffix. So it basically just tells Spring where do we actually find our views. So it is a combination of prefix and suffix. So prefix is going to be the directory where it is going to find. So it starts reading from your web app folder. So this is very much required. Then you can provide the um, location or path. 
right so it is at web inf and then jsp and suffix suffix is going to be uh, what is the extension file extension for that file basically so that is obviously going to be dot jsp now what do we need we need uh, some data source properties which is going to be how do we actually want to connect to our database so this is going to be all about data source this can also be done via java code but this one is more simpler and more familiar as well so let's go with that so here we need three things first is url second is your username and third is your password so with url we need to provide what type of connectivity which is going to be jdbc and the type of driver which is postgresql and then where actually your database is existing so that is at my local system so localhost then the default port or the port where you are actually running that um, database so 5432 and then your database name so i'm going to give my database name as jsp with uh, post GraphSQL, right that is that now the default username is going to be postgres and that is with postgres so yeah and password is going to be whatever you have provided along with the installation of postgres so mine is root so that's that now let's quickly open postgres and create this database so for this we are going to open pg admin 4 so let's provide the password Alright, so my password is password. So let's update that here. Now let's create a new database. Let's copy the name from here. Put it here and then hit save. Alright, so as you can see here, we have a new database. Now let's create our table through our code. So for this, what do we need is we need a property which is going to be of your Hibernate JPA because JPA by default uses Hibernate which we can change if you want but yeah, Hibernate is a great tool so let's use it. So I'm going to start with create. So what it will do is whatever entities I have in my project those are going to get created in the database provided here. So if they are not created, then Hibernate will help me create those tables along with the columns that I have mentioned, or if anything specific I want to do with that entity that we can do either via your configuration file or via annotation. So let's first create that entity class because we only need one. So let's first create the folder for it. So I'm going to uh, work on anime class here because what I want to do is I want to create or save animes, view animes list, add it a particular anime or delete an anime, right? So that is what I want to do. I love anime by the way. So yeah, let's go with that. So this is going to be my entity and I'll just provide the table annotation here as well so name is going to be in all caps so let's do anime right now let's work on our columns so first or very first column is going to be your identification column or primary key so this is going to be of type long because it can be increased and it can be long right because it can exceed your integer range so yeah that's why we are going with long now this is going to be id as in your primary key and then if you want to keep that id generated as an incremented value then you can do it by putting a strategy here so i'm going to go with generation type dot auto 
so it will keep increment the id value for me and i just have to keep insert the actual data and i don't have to care about id right then i need the name of the anime and lastly i need the year on which year actually it came into existence so this is going to be column then again this is going to be column now let's generate getter and setter select all all right now let's create a constructor as well all right so now we are good with anime so if i run this application it should create the entity anime for me by default so let's try that but let's first add our main application because it is not here so let's modify this a bit so let's do com dot example gsp demo all right so let's first uh, create the class main class so let's do main application and that's it now let's use our favorite annotation which is going to be spring boot application and then enable auto configuration or uh, let's just do component scan and here i'll just choose com dot sample dot gsp demo if you don't want to create these many classes then you can easily use spring initializer because that will reduce a lot of things for you all right so let's add our main method and then it is just going to do spring boot application dot run and here we have to provide few arguments so spring oh sorry main application dot class and then the arguments if they are providing here i put the wrong name here it should be spring application all right now we just have to move this package to our package gsp demo like this yeah now we are good now let's run this all right so as you can see here we have the table anime and we can see the columns as well id name and year so so yeah we are all good now we just have to do one thing which is going to be to update this from create to update because if we don't do it then what will happen every time we run our application whatever data we had stored till then then it is going to create the table once again so it will delete your data or drop your table existing table right so that we don't want so we only want to update the data and not recreate your tables so that's why we have to put this configuration as update so now we are done with our entity now we actually have to do our configuration changes which is going to be your dao layer and service layer configuration so let's quickly create those packages and your classes so for dao layer i'm just going to create a repo package and for my service layer let's do just service right so now for repo i'm going to create a class here so let's do anime repository so here we have to extend an inter uh, a class which is going to be our jpa repository so jpa repository is an interface and we have to create an interface here sorry about that so it should be i anime repository so let's rename this all right so now let's extend the interface jpa repository so here we need to provide two generic 
uh, arguments so what we have to do is first is going to be your actual entity on which you want to do your crud up operations so for me it is going to be anime and second is going to be the type of the primary key for this entity so that data type for this primary key is going to be long so that's why long here now we just have to annotate this interface as a repository that's it that's it what we had to do now for service layer let's create a class actually we should do a service interface and then the implementation of that interface but let's keep it simple let's not go deep into it so here I'll just do anime service as a class which is going to be annotated as service and here we are going to use our anime repository and let's auto wire this all right so now what do we need we need four methods first is to view all the animes second is going to save the anime third is to update the anime and fourth is to delete the anime right so let's create those methods so first let's uh, create get all animes as an anime get all anime so here uh, the return type is going to be of type list obviously and the generic type is going to be anime oops right so let's first create a variable anime list new array list now let's go with our java 8 functionality so uh, with your jpa repository you get methods by default you don't have to create them so as you can see with my anime repo i'm seeing these many methods so as we have to fetch all the anime so i'll use find all here now to fill my anime list i'll just do for each and then lambda expression anime list dot add and here i'll do anime oops all right and then i'll just return this list back so we are good with our anime list now we have to get an anime by id so if we want to update a particular anime then we have to update it based on a particular identifier so that is going to be the id so here we are going to do public get anime by id so here we are going to get only one anime object so just anime and here we don't have to create a variable here we will just directly return it and we will use anime repository again and if you see uh, we have along with find all we have find by id right so here we have to provide the id and which we will get here all right so we are good with this now for saving or updation we only need one method so let's do save or update and i'll tell you the reason why there is going to be only one method so here we will get an anime object so first let's call this method so if you see here for save and there is nothing for update right so uh, if we do save then what is what it is going to do is it is going to override the already existing value so which suffice our requirement we just have to update the values it doesn't matter if it is going to override the previous values or not right so yeah that is that so here we will just call save so let's update this to updated anime so here we have to provide whether the updation or save was successful or not so to do that if it is a new anime then it is going to be a fresh new addition to the database so i'll just do a simple if command 
and here what I will do is I will just do anime repo dot get sorry find by ID or I can simply call get anime by ID yeah that is another option that we can do so here the updated anime right that we have to use because if it is a new anime then the identifier is going to be something else so here get ID so if it is there then it won't it is not going to be null right so if it is there then it is not going to be null if it is not there then it is going to be null so which means if it is not null then I'll just return true as in the operation was successful otherwise I'll just return false right good enough now our last method is going to be to delete so it is going to return simply boolean again to know if the delete operation was successful or not so here we have to delete based on an ID so long ID so let's do anime repo dot delete uh, by ID so here ID now again I'll search this similarly to what we have done here and that's it now we are done oh so here we just have to provide ID right so here we are done with our service layer now let's work on our controller so for that we have to create a new package so controller now let's create our class anime controller so this is going to be annotated with controller because this is a controller obviously now we need a lot of mappings here right so as we know uh, we we need four operations here get save update and delete so get is going to be a get mapping save and update can be your put and post mapping and delete can be your delete mapping right so let's do that so first thing first is going to be your anime service object and let's auto wire this now first method is going to be to view all your anime available in the database so view anime list all right so here let's do model model let's import this now as I said this is going to be get mapping annotation and here we can provide two URI URL uh, so one could be nothing and another could be your view anime list all right so here we will return a JSP page which is going to be view anime list now along with this page we have to return some data so that it can show something to our UI front end right so for that we are going to use anime service to get all anime and here we will use this to add it to our model object so model dot add attribute so this is going to be anime list and then we will just copy this here all right so good enough now for add a new anime we need a get mapping again so the reason get mapping here is going to be that first we are opening a new form or a new page right then we are hitting on a button save which will actually do post mapping right so first we need to go to that page so add anime again we need model here 
so let's do anime anime equals to new or i'll be smart about it model dot add attribute anime and then new anime so i mistakenly updated it as private it should be public yeah now we are good so that is that now we just have to return jsp page add anime this is going to be again get mapping and uri is going to be add anime now for post mapping so this will again return a jsp page back to something meaningful so save anime and here we will get an object anime and here we will use redirect attribute so that we can redirect to something useful so redirect attributes redirect attributes now again uh, if you remember this was a boolean method let me show you once again so here if you see save or update anime will give you boolean so if the operation is successful then we will redirect to a particular page and if it is false then we will redirect to the same page saying that the operation was uh, unsuccessful so here we can provide a particular message as well so that we can do so here let's do anime service dot save or update anime and here we will do an anime so if it is successful then we are going to redirect with a message and flash attribute let's say save success and then we are going to return to our view employee list so that we can see all the new anime that we have added just now right so redirect view anime list if not then we will redirect to the same page and with a proper message so here we will say save failure and here we will get redirect to add anime page all right so this is post mapping save anime all right good enough now if we are sending back these messages to these two mappings then they have to receive this message and comprehend them right so here we have to add those as model attribute and this is going to be in our view anime list mapping as well right now we have to return this back to our model uh, to our view and that we will do through our model right so we will just add an attribute here so if something happens whether successful or unsuccessful then it is going to be shown at our view so that user can see oh the save was a success oh save was a failure right so it should print out something to the user other than a blank page right so let's copy this line here as well now for edit or update we need a separate jsp page which means a separate get mapping and to save that updation we need a post mapping right so let's do that so public string and it anime so here we will get an id 
because that is how we are going going to identify which anime to update right so that is going to come with path variable and we also going to use model here so get mapping add it uh, anime and then the id all right so now what we have to do so first is that we have to get an anime based on the id and that object is going to be passed to our view so there we will see the information that we have available currently in our database at that point the user will see oh this is some this is wrong so let's update that and then he will update it which we will update in another mapping so here we just have to provide what we have available in the database so here i'll just call anime service dot get anime by id oops and here i'll just do an id so it is going to return me an anime object like this so rather than this i'll just cut this and put this entirely to attribute just to space uh, save some space and let's copy like this now we can return the view which is going to be added an image jsp page right now for this post mapping it is going to use redirect attributes again like we did for save anime similarly we have to do something here as well so add it save anime so here we will get the entire object anime and then we need redirect attributes so if the edit is successful then we will redirect to our see all employee list if it is a failure then we will come back to this page and anim edit anime right so here let's do an if condition or what i can do is simply copy this and then i'll modify i'm getting lazy <laughs> right now so instead of save or update anime it is going to be save or update because remember we have the same method that's why i copied it so here we have to redirect to our view anime list and here instead of add anime we have to go to add it anime and then the id so to do that we will simply do anime dot get id right good enough now let's add post mapping here and let's do add it save anime now last thing is going to be a uh, delete anime right so public string so this we will achieve via a button so here we don't need a form so that's why there is going to be only one mapping so here we will receive an id long id and then here we need redirect attributes again i'll simply copy this not this let's do this it doesn't matter <laughs> i'm just being choosy here so here we will have to call delete anime and here we will provide the id here instead of say we will do delete delete and here instead of save we can say add it add it right so here it will come back to view anime list but if it is a failure then it has to come back to can you guess what so if you remember uh, i said that we will achieve this deletion via a button so that button is going to be available at this mapping 
right so here you will see two buttons add it and delete which we will see when we are working with gsu pages so here this is going to be something like this now let's add the annotation get mapping here delete anime then id and this is going to be path variable all right so we are good with our controller now let's work on our long awaited gsp pages all right so now let's start with our view anime list gsp page so view anime list dot gsp so first thing first is that we need few imports so here if you see um, it is just saying about the encoding and this one is very important is that uh, we are going to use spring framework tags which is going to be form so this is what we are going to see or submit whenever we are working with our view and then we are going to use JSTL as well so if we have a list and if we have to iterate over that list to print each and every value then we are going to use JSTL here so for that we need to do something like this now we are done with these imports now we just have to do whatever you used to do with HTML right so so starting with doc type HTML all right so inside here we have few things such as head and body so these are the only two important things that we are going to use here so in our head we are going to have something like this so let me elaborate here so this is just um, the cat set which you can remove if you want but this is a habit of mine so that is why it is here then the title which is going to be displayed at your browser and then the imports again so as you remember i said that to beautify our ui pages we are going to use twitter bootstrap framework so these are the dependency to use your bootstrap right now this style is uh, to change the color of your hyperlink so by default the hyperlink color is going to be bluish and then there is going to be an underline so to remove that underline we are going to use text decoration and then none so that is why this is here so I hope this part is clear now if you are familiar with bootstrap it's good but if you are not then uh, bootstrap works on a grid based system which means that you can divide divide your UI page into multiple grids so as you can see here on my IntelliJ this is a part this is a part of the grid and then this is a part of grid and then your menu option is a part of grid and then this one is part of a grid so similarly we can do with bootstrap as well so if you want to cut your page into multiple parts and divide it evenly then you can do it using row and columns right so for that first i need a container so this is going to provide some by default margin and padding if you are familiar with html and if not then just remember that this is just to package all of stuff into a single single bundle right so that they don't go away <laughs> now uh, what do we need we need an heading right so I'll use h1 here because I need a bigger heading and I'll simply say animalist and because I remember bootstrap classes I can use this and if you want to get familiar with bootstrap then you can go to this website getbootstrap.com this is the official documentation or the of official page for your bootstrap framework here you can go to docs and read all about bootstrap so here you will see all the things that you will need to work with bootstrap so go with that and it's simple it's not a big stuff you will learn easily so now we have our heading so this is just to provide a particular padding to it right now we need a form and this is the form which we are going to use to display the information or submit the information right now if you see something like this then you can see that oh this is what we were talking about earlier so this is where we are using this prefix form so here you can see the prefix and the tag right 
similarly there will be a closing tag now I will need a table here so let me add that first all right so here uh, I have again used the bootstrap class so whatever you see with class you can pretty much guess that okay this is from bootstrap right so you can get more information from the official website so here I have created a table and TI stands for your table row and these are the headings so it will make more sense if you are not familiar with HTML when we are going to run this application so just hold on to it till then so as I said this is a table row and these are table headings but we haven't displayed the data yet so for that what we will use is we will use now JSTL so for JSTL I use the prefix C so here I will use a for loop the variable to hold that data is going to be in anime and the items list so this is what we have provided if we go back to anime controller so you can see that with our model we provided this list anime list and this is what we are going to iterate over now right so to iterate over a variable we use a syntax like this and we have to provide the same name which we have provided here so this has to be exactly same now we are iterating so let's close this as well now we have to display the information in a similar format as in tr but instead of th we will do td as in table definition or description I think it's description I'm forgetting it now so here if you see we got the ID for our ID heading then similarly name year and then we have two buttons so uh, button is a hyperlink and it is directing to our mapping edit anime so this is our edit button for edit button we are redirecting to our edit anime and then we are also giving the anime ID along with it that is how in our edit mapping when we come here we get a path variable long id that is how we actually going to update our anime right for delete again we need id but for this the mapping is delete anime so these buttons we obviously need now the last thing is going to be a button so that if we want to add a new anime we don't have to navigate using a different URI we can just do it using a button on the same page where we are going to see all the anime list right so for that we will have a button so this is going to go to hyperlink add anime right so which is going to be this mapping I hope this is clear but for now I cannot run this application because if I do then it will prompt that we don't have this and these so what I will do is I will just create a blank or I can copy this so this is going to be your added anime and then third one is going to be your add anime right now we can run this application to see the view that we have created with our view anime list.jsp so let's run this application all right so as i can see here uh, the path is weird because we don't have a slash here so let's add it and rerun the application so for this what do we do we have to just add it like this and because this is application or properties so dev tools is not going to work we have to rerun this all right started hit refresh well 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 it is working now so let me give you a simple brief about this so if you see this big blue button this is coming because of your bootstrap and if you go to this official website and you can see buttons here go to this so here you can see these are the options that you have 
and these are the classes that you can use to achieve these but these are small buttons right then you have big buttons as well this is a large button and this is a block button and if you see this this is a block button right now this is a table you don't see anything here but that's okay you will see soon and this is a heading and if you see spacing proper spacing uh, between these two that is because we used bootstrap here so it looks good right we don't have any data but looks good right so that is why because we are using bootstrap so now we are done with our view animalist and it is going to work with both the urls as you can see now let's work on our add new anime as you can see this is going to add anime url but it is displaying the same page which you have used for view anime so let's make some changes so add anime so let's scroll up we don't need this style because we don't have a hyperlink here so we can remove this let's update this to add an anime here as well add anime also if you didn't see this title you can see here this is the title view anime list all right now coming to the body so what do we do here so here we don't need a table right here we need input forms so that we can provide some input which we can save it using our form to get back to our mappings to save it to the database right so first let's add those input forms all right so these are the input forms that we need so let me explain you so here we have used uh, the grid system again so here we will have three separate lines as in three separate rows so first row is going to have an input field of type text but to fetch the value name right so whatever name of the anime we want to provide we will provide in this input form right so here what it is going to do is whatever we have in our anime object it is going to store the same information but remember that whatever you provide in this path the variable name should match with this one so if we open anime class the variable names are these ones so these should match with what we have here in the path that is how it is actually going to map your objects data with these input forms right rest you can uh, see that this is a required field which means if we don't provide any data to it it won't allow us to submit the form right now uh, this is a simple separation as in for a particular area we will have a label for a particular area we will have an input form similarly we have for year so here instead of type text we have type number and the path is year obviously it is again a required field and the separation is again same and this is a second row the third row is going to be our button which is to submit the data so when we do this it is actually going to submit to the mapping whichever we are going to refer here and we don't need this button so we can remove this now coming to what do we have to provide here so action is going to be the mapping where we want this form to go to so i want this form to go to save anime mapping and we can com confirm here so this is the mapping that we want to come back to right now we have the action we need the method so method is which type of mapping you are going to use so i'm going to use post mapping so that's why post here now to map to which object so there can be multiple objects models as in you can have in your project right so because i want to map it to anime and this is what i'm also providing through here so if you see this page at anime get mapping here i'm providing a new object anime and this is the same object which is going to come back to this post mapping with the required information that we want to save to our database right so this is the name which we are referring here all right so it should match 
now we are done with this we can run our application actually we don't have to run an application because it's already running so let's go back to our main page click on this add new anime yeah so this is the view now so here I can provide the name so let's do Naruto and I know that it came in 2002 so let's save this so if you see here we got redirected to view animal list and I can see the data so I have one Naruto and the year and then I have two buttons to add it or delete but I don't have the functionality yet so let's do add it first delete for delete we can do it right now so if I do delete here I'm coming back to add anime unfortunately so let's see what we have in our controller so delete success so it should redirect to view anime instead of add anime so let's make that change let's save it wait for it to rerun all right so now let's come back to our view employee list I don't have a data because it got deleted but I didn't got redirected successfully so that's something let's add Naruto one more time and if I delete now then I'm redirected back to view animal list which is good now one more thing to notice here is if I try to click save it is not allowing me to right so this is very necessary to save the information so now let's work on our edit anime GSP page so again for edit anime we don't need this because we are not going to have a hyperlink let's change this to edit anime edit anime now again we will have a form here but we we won't have a tabular format here instead we will have the same format of inputs that we had in our add anime list so let's open that and let's copy this entirely actually we can copy this form as well now what do we have to change here nothing <laughs> Yeah, so this is a good thing here because uh, see whatever information we have already saved we want to display here just one thing that we need not to show which is going to be your ID right so here we don't have ID field as of now we need name and year to update only right so these are going to here going to be here but we also need ID as well so let's do that so as you can see here I am using hidden input right now because I don't want this to be shown right so that's why it is hidden but it is going to be here when I submit this form then it is also going to submit back this ID so that I can see okay this is the object that I want to update right so this is this here I just have to update and say add it save anime and this should be similar to what we have here right so we have our form ready so here we have to remove this and we are good so coming back to our view list here let's make a change so here I'll just do 2002 and click on save so I can see that the data is getting updated so it is working fine so delete is working fine edit is working fine view is working fine what is remaining so the only thing remaining is that we don't see a proper message here it should get displayed right so to display the notifications we will use this toaster JS library so let's see the demo here So let's say I want to display save success. 
right so if i click on show toast you can see that the notification will see something like this and we can play around with these function as well so it can be a progress bar so if you see this then there is going to be a progress and then it will fade away and then we can also change the position so position here is top right so we can play around with this right so there are so many options but what do we need we only need these and along with this we need to import these values as well so let's first do that so coming to our add anime this is the script that we need and this is the css which we need right so we are good with this now we will add a script code here inside our body so here if you see what we are doing is this is a javascript code and on window on load as in when the page is loading then we are getting the message to a variable so if it is a save success then it will do something like this so here we have a variable uh, which is going to be this command and if i come back to this code here so you can see that this command is the only thing which is going to be changed rest options are going to be same so that is what we are doing here depending on the message we are changing this right and the options are going to be same and what i can do is i can simply copy this out to my each and every jsp page so let's do that quickly so this is my added page this is done now view anime list done as well now let's put the script and link so i'll just copy this paste it here and here never mind the formatting now um, what do we need to do so for edit we know that it is going to be either edit success or edit failure right so i can simply remove the rest actually it is only going to contain edit success i don't have to bother about anything so um, i can simply do this because the rest of the messages if you see here for edit anime page we are only getting redirected when it is a failure oh i was wrong so when it is a failure then only we are going to redirect it back to edit anime right so this has to be failure and let me check yeah it is added failure and it that in that case we will say something went wrong with the edit and instead of success this is going to be an error right so these are all the variables that you can find here as well so this is a success here if i do failure so in that case i will do error so if i do show toast now you can see that this is now error and it is red all right so something went wrong with the edit everything else is going to be same now for add anime when when am i being redirected to add anime so i can check in my redirects so i'm getting redirected to add anime when it is a safe failure right so i'll come back to my conditions here so i'll just remove everything else and i'll change this to error so if it is safe failure in that case i'll just say something went wrong with the edit and let's remove the exclamation mark here right now for view anime list when are we being redirected to view anime list so in our controller we can see that there are a lot of places where we can see this so for failure and uh, success for delete we are being redirected to view anime list so here let's see save success is here delete success failure this should be failure and edit success is here so we are good right so now let's 
refresh our pages and let's see so here let's delete okay so it is not working let's see what went wrong all right so i made a mistake here so if you see here we are getting a message without quotes so let's update this All right, so as you can see here, the message is working now, but it is wrong. <laughs> so something went wrong here, some error occurred. The deletion was successful, but message was wrong. So let's see. So delete success, user deleted successfully. Um, let's come back to anime controller. Okay, I got it. So here we have to do an else condition here because it is overriding what we have done here with this one. So yeah. Now let's rerun. All right, so application is restarted and let's try one more time. So let's go again with that note, 2006, save and let's add another anime full metal alchemist brotherhood and 2009 user created oh this is displaying user display uh, successfully i didn't update this anime added right now let's add anime Naruto one more time. Anime added successfully. All right, good enough. Now let's try to add it Naruto. And let's do Uzumaki. Anime updated successfully. And yeah, I can see that it got updated. Now let's delete Full Metal Alchemist anime added successfully <laughs> what's wrong with this uh. so yeah it is working fine now so this is it for this video i really hope that it was meaningful for some of you guys and if you have any question on this project do let me know on the comment section I'm going to put this entire code in my github repository and I will share that link in the video description as well so you can take a look there and please don't try to copy the code exactly try to do some modification or try to do some new features in your project that will give you more knowledge to these tech stack so this is it. I really hope that we will meet in some another video. Till then, have a good day, stay safe and bye-bye.